Hi everyone, this is Ben from Literature Review HQ uh, and this is part of a, a short video series just to demonstrate some of the features of my favourite mind mapping software which is uh, iMindMap um, so you can download a trial version of it from my own, own link which is uh, www.literaturereviewhq.com forward slash iMindMap so once you download it, um, you can download a free trial, so there's a free version, but there's also, with that free version, there's trials of, of the other versions which you have to pay for. Um, and you can see that's what I'm using now. So you can download that for Mac or Windows, and once you've downloaded and installed it, you, f you, you first open it up and you're presented with a, a grey screen like this. So to make a start on, on using it, you go to File and New and this then uh, gives you the option to choose uh, one of many central images um, I'll choose the cloud because it's the, the, most, the most common one once you've chosen your central image you'll have it selected in the center there you can just uh, type in what you want to be the focus of your mind map and then you're ready to get started. Basically, as as with any mind mapping software, you just uh, draw the branches and you do that by clicking on the, a red dot will appear in the center of the image. You click on that and just drag out the size of the branch that you want. And so you can drag out, oops, drag out any number of branches from the center. And they do have a, a preset colours, but uh, you can alter these. I'll show you how to do that. So you can see over here the colour tab. If I just click anywhere on there, I can change the colour. Click OK. And to label these, I just have to type, just select the branch. So that's not selected now, but if I click over it, then it's selected. And I just type what I want to put on each branch and it's so quick to do I mean it's the the quickest one that I've ever seen you know so if you're if you're thinking as you're going along you don't have to click and then select a box and type you literally just click on the branch and start typing and that's it and you create more branches more sub branches off the end of these smaller ones you simply click on the red dot there and drag out again and it's the same it's the same process to label these and it automatically changes the length of the branch for you okay so that's how to get started um, if you want to, to give it a go and download this software and give it a try for, for absolutely free go to www.literaturereviewhq.com forward slash i mind map. Thanks very much.